Welcome to Electro Online. In the previous video, we saw that we could solve this particular differential equation with an integrating factor of the form 1 over y to the n power. So this time, we're going to assume we can find an integrating factor in the form of 1 over x to the m. So standard, we would say the integrating factor is x to the m, y to the n, but we can sometimes simplify a lot of things by simply looking for a single variable um, integrating factor. So let's try that. Again, we already saw in the previous video that this was not an exact uh, equation, so therefore we needed an integrating factor, and we're going to use it as 1 over x to the m. So we're going to take our equation here and multiply times our integrating factor 1 over x to the m times 3x squared y dx minus x cubed dy is equal to 0. All right, multiplying through, we get 3x to the 2 minus m power times y times dx minus x to the 3 minus m power times dy. Remember that this is in the denominator, so we have to subtract m from the exponent, and so this is equal to 0. All right, now we're going to take the partial of this with respect to x, oh, I should say with respect to y, and the partial of this with respect to x, and then we set them equal to each other to find the exponent m. Taking the partial of this, we get the partial with respect to y of the quantity 3x2 minus m power times y. This would be equal to, remember that y is the variable, this is the constant, so this simply becomes 3 times x to the 2 minus m power. We take the partial with respect to x of this quantity right here, which is minus x to the 3 minus m, and this would be equal to... Uh, since x is the variable, we get minus the exponent 3 minus m times x to the 2 minus m because we have to subtract 1 from the exponent. Now, if this is exact, that means this must equal this, which allows us to solve for m. Notice that in both cases we have x to the 2 minus m, x to the 2 minus m, which means that 3 must equal minus the quantity 3 minus m. So 3 must equal minus the quantity 3 minus m, which means that 3 is equal to minus 3 plus m, which means that m is equal to 6. So there we go. Our new integrating factor for this particular differential equation is going to be equal to 1 over x to the 6 power. All right. Let's go ahead and use that, and of course, we should get the exact same result as the previous video. So, let's take our equation right here, and so we get 1 over x to the 6th power times 3x squared times y dx minus x cubed times dy is equal to 0. Multiplying through, we get 3y divided by x to the 4th power dx minus, that would be 1 over x cubed times dy is equal to 0. Assuming that this, of course, now is an exact equation, I can go find the solution. We could say that the, the partial of u with respect to x, which is equal to m, which is equal to 3y over x to the 4th, which means that u is equal to the integral of 3y over x to the fourth times the partial of x plus some function of y because in this case y is the constant which means the constant of integration can be a function of y. Notice that this is the same as x to the minus 4 power, x is the variable so we add 1 to the exponent that becomes x to the minus 3 power divided by the new exponent which is minus 3 so u is equal to 3y to the x to the minus 3 over minus 3 power plus a function of y. This is not power, this is actually the, uh, the new exponent. The 3's cancel out, I still have a negative here, so this becomes equal to minus, uh, minus y over x cubed plus some function of y. All right, now, Let's do this again with the other part of the equation. So the partial of u with respect to y is equal to n, which is equal to minus 1 over x cubed, okay, which is really equal to minus x to the minus 3, which means that u is equal to the integral of minus x to the minus 3 times the partial of y, 
plus a function of x because in this case x is the constant so the uh, constant of integration can be a function of x so when I integrate this uh, since x is a constant y is a variable this becomes uh, minus y over x cubed plus a function of x. All right, now let's take a look here. Here we have this as a solution, and here we have this as a solution. All right, which means that since they must be equal to each other, the function of y must equal the function of x, which must equal a constant for them to be equal to each other. So therefore, we can say that u is equal to minus y over x cubed. And then, of course, you also know from here that since du is equal to 0, that means u must be equal to a constant. So we can say, therefore, that a constant is equal to y over x cubed. And, of course, we have the negative there. But since we can have any constant, so therefore the constant can be negative, we can get rid of the negative sign, and we can say that the constant is equal to y divided by x cubed. And this should be the exact same solution that we got on the previous video for the same differential equation. Of course, in this case, we use a very different integrating factor, 1 over x to the 6 instead of 1 over y squared. And that's how we do that.